Here's a tip for very elite wrestlers. I learned this years ago, it makes perfect sense. Your wrestling should get smaller. All that means is, you, as you become very skilled and you have, let's say, five years of year-round wrestling under your belt, hundreds of matches, uh, you're competing on the national level, now it's time to specialize a little bit because you can't be good everywhere. You can't be short and powerful and also have a length and leverage. It's impossible. So the guys with or girls with length and leverage, they're gonna wrestle from different positions and be have an advantage from different positions than the short powerful athletes. So the short powerful athlete might wrestle from different tie-ups. So that means they will avoid wrestling in these other tie-ups, right? You look at someone who's super fast, they can score very well from the outside. They don't wrestle over under chest to chest. They don't grab a collar tie under hook. They avoid those positions because they're way better in these other positions. Now they might drill from there on occasion, but most of their time is going to be spent wrestling in the positions where they're very, very strong and, you know, that are kind of conducive to their types of athletic uh, strengths and weaknesses. So we like to do this. We just did this at our 28 day uh, drill to death camp. Um, we had the guys write down their, their physical strengths and weaknesses and then write down the ones that you can't change. So let's say, you know, I'm not blazing fast. Well, sure, you can improve there a little bit, right? You can do footwork drills, which I think are a waste of time. I Just drilling, wrestling, you know, fake, elbow pass, chase the legs, attack a drive, single leg, you know, circle, clear the ankle to the armpit, uh, knee block. I mean, you just, you just created how many level changes and direction changes and how many footsteps in that takedown sequence. So I think drilling is the best way to develop your uh, footwork. But, you know, if you're not, don't have Usain Bolt speed, you're never gonna develop it. It's done, you're not gonna ever going to be a fast wrestler and that's okay. There's probably a lot of NCAA champs aren't very fast. Kendall Cross was my teammate, he used to say, I'm the slowest guy in the, in the, on the planet. He developed a style of wrestling that worked. He won the Olympics, right? But so once you diagnose your strengths and weaknesses, now what if you're like frail? Well, sure, you may not ever be the strongest wrestler in America or even top 5% in your uh, age and weight class, but you should lift weights. I mean, so you gotta say, I need to improve in this area, but you're never going to be a power wrestler. So when you look at the things that you're never going to happen, I'm never going to have leverage. Okay, I mean, I'm 5'5", five five, or as I like to say, 5'5 five five on a tall day. I'm never gonna have leverage, so I have to develop a way to wrestle around my strengths and weaknesses. So once you know what your physical weakness are, weaknesses are, the ones you cannot change or fix, then you can start to look at the positions that are better for you. And uh, now you're on your way. So that's what we mean by making your wrestling smaller and it's something for you to consider. Good luck.